Welcome to HCS Connects. I'm Kelly Goral with Hampton City Schools. Today, we have a great show ahead of us as we have some special guests, two of our newly elected chair and vice chair for our Hampton City School Board. So welcome to HCS Connects. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for being here today. So exciting things going on this summer. Um, we've now have a new chair and a vice chair. Ms. Ann Cherry is our chair and Mr. Joe Kilgore is our vice chair. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with you all. Give me a little bit about your background because this is not your, your first rodeo on the school board. Well, it's not my first rodeo, but Mr. Kilgore's had much longer rodeo than I have. I just started um, on the board in 2016. Prior to that, I was PR marketing director, as you know, um, for Hampton City Schools for 17 years. So I've been on six, um, since 2016 when I was elected and I was vice chair then. So, and you were vice chair. So now you have your new role as chair mm -hmm. and that just started July one. Exactly. Excellent. And Mr. Kilgore, how about you? I've been on the board for eight years. So when I got on the board, I, I got to know Ann um, and work with her as she was part of the division leadership team. And then um, I got an opportunity um, after a couple of years on the board to be the vice chair for Miss Muggler. So I had two years as vice chair. And then uh, now, very excited to be the vice chair for Ann. So it's, it's an exciting time. So tell me, you know, what is the role of just the school board in general? Right. The role of the school board in general, we've got several sort of really critical things that we do. Obviously, the most, in my opinion, the most critical thing that we do is we hire and evaluate and some, the superintendent. Um, and that is a, a really critical role for any school board. The other thing that we do, <clears throat> we establish the policies, you know, so we are elected by our community, we collaborate with our community, but, and we establish the, the policies under which the division is governed. Um, and then we review and approve a budget and we present that to city council. Uh, and then there's, you know, other jobs that we have, but those are the, those are the big ones. And those policies, I mean, when people think of education, they obviously think of, you know, teachers teaching their children. But those policies, they range from a variety of things, correct? From athletics to right. curriculum to human resources and budget and so forth. We have almost 400 policies. <laughs> almost 400 <laughs> policies that are reviewed yeah. and approved by the board. Exactly. So now as chair and vice chair, Ms. Cherry, what, what do you see as that role? What's the importance of the chair and vice chair? Well, I think the importance of the chair and vice chair pretty much is where it is anywhere. But the main thing is, in terms of what I believe, is that the chair and the vice chair should work well together. And by that, I mean communication. That's always been my stick, the communication piece, to make sure that there are no surprises. I always say second graders like surprises, school board people and superintendents don't. <laughs> so I think it's important to keep each other informed as much as we can. But I also think it's important to set the stage for what we want the rest of the board members in terms of how they operate, what we want them to do. Mm -hmm. And I think in setting that stage, we have to lead by design and lead by example. So one of the things Mr. Kilgore and I always talk about <clears throat> is that you know, you have to put yourself in a position where you know that everything you do or attempt to do is either first class, is always with the student in mind, and always with what's best for Hampton City Schools in terms of our mission and our goals. So with that in mind, I think we make a great team. And I'm not just saying that because, and I didn't get to tell you this, but the other day Phyllis Henry said to me, she's another board member. She said, I think you and Mr. Kilgore make a great team because he is so specific in terms of crossing the T's, dotting the I's, knows policy in, in, inside and out. Doesn't 400. Have to read them. I'm, knows them, exactly, all 400. And then I am the communicator and I get the piece across that we both work together to make sure that each board member is aware of. So I think that's why we make a good team as well. Well, excellent. Well, we look forward to that team going into this year. Um, so you said, you know, making sure that everything is that everything is the best for Hampton City Schools and our students. So what do you think has been going well with Hampton City Schools in the last several years? Um, obviously, uh, selection of an amazing superintendent 
uh, was one thing that, you know, was, we were really fortunate. We had a great superintendent in Dr. Shiflett. We've got a great superintendent in Dr. Jeffrey Smith. Uh, obviously, we have had focuses. We, we renew our strategic plan every five years, and that strategic plan talks about the academic performance of the students being one of our primary goals and the accreditations of our schools. And every year we have been moving in the right direction. I think this year's the results are going to be very impressive. Um, but so it, it's about the kids, and and um, we often say teaching and learning is our business, mm -hmm. and so <coughs> the focus is on accreditation. The biggest effort that we've had as of late has been the transformation of our high schools and the rolling out of the academies, which is a very complex, very uh, challenging thing to do, but uh, we are doing it in true Hampton style. We are knocking it out of the mm -hmm. park at every chance we get. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So looking into next year, any personal goals or any board goals for that 18-19 school year? Well, I think one of the things we want to do is <clears throat> keep the trajectory this way. Mm -hmm. And with Dr. Smith being at the helm, we're pretty sure that that's going to happen. As Ms. Kilgo was saying, you talk about the academies, that has not only excited and inspired people within the Hampton City Schools community, but also people outside of our community, our city leaders, um, people outside of the city of Hampton, people outside of the state. As you know, people from other states, school divisions, are coming in to look at how we do our academies. You know, that speaks volumes when, you know, they say that imitation is the best form of flattery. When people want to imitate or, or, or recreate what you have, that speaks volumes. In terms of other pieces that we've had that I think are very positive for the school division, speaks to a lot of what you're doing, Ms. Goral. We are telling our story and it's getting out there. And that has a lot to do with you and your organization and your staff because people are beginning to get those wow factors. And we are telling our own story. And I think that's wonderful with the addition of social media for Hampton City Schools just expanding. It's exciting. So as we look forward to, you say, goals for the school board, uh, goals for our board members, Again, we will work as a team to establish whatever it is we need to do in terms of developing those goals that will directly correlate with our strategic plan, our mission, and the goals of the division. Yeah. And we are definitely on the move. We like to say that, that Hampton City Schools is on the move. Absolutely. Um, and that we are connected, as we are on HCS Connects, but we are connected to our students and our families and the community at large, as well as our business partners. And it really is about doing what is best for our students and our young people. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you both for being here today. It has been an honor, and we look forward to many great things for the 18-19 school year. Thank you, thank you for much. having us. Appreciate it. Thank you for joining us on HCS Connects. In the meantime, stay connected with us through Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, as well as our website, our PEG TV station, and YouTube. Thanks, and have a great day.